Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. In today's video, I am going to be giving my front porch a makeover. I'm so excited to share this video with you. It turned out so adorable and it was very budget friendly. So I'm gonna show you how the process went and all that good stuff. So let's just get into today's video. For our front porch, we really don't get a ton of use out of it. We normally go through our garage when we leave the house, but I do like to sit out here every once in a while. Obviously, you can tell I haven't done that in a few months. I had some pots that over here by this bench with some flowers months ago that I had pulled up because they had died. I have a pot behind the bench that is overgrown and needs to be pruned. And then over in the corner, I have this really big rose bush and it has these beautiful pink rose blooms that smell absolutely amazing. I do not want to cut that down. There is another one next to it that has died. I need to pull that up. I really just wanted to give this area a really good makeover. I wanted to make it really inviting and fun again. And I just wanted to bring life to it. So I'm going to be cleaning up this area first by removing everything on this front porch. And I'm going to take my hose and just completely clean everything down. I'm going to be cleaning the exterior walls and the window and the door and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to start with first. I always like to start with a really good clean before I start to decorate. If you are new today and this is the very first video you are watching of mine, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I truly appreciate you. If you have came back from previously, I want to thank you as well. I love that you guys keep coming back to watch my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button right now and make sure that you click that notification bell as well. It just notifies you whenever I upload a brand new video so you don't miss out on anything that I post. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon is the snow. Once I had all of those dead branches pruned off of that mum plant, I'm moving on over here to my rose bush. And I wish I had more confidence in what I was doing over here because if I knew that this would just come back really full and pretty, if I really trimmed it down, I would do it in a second. But I am just so worried that if I trim this down really low, it's gonna stay really small. and. I just don't know. So if you guys know anything about roses, I am only experienced with iceberg roses in my backyard. If you have seen my backyard makeover video, you know what I'm talking about, but I just didn't really know too much about this type of rose. Okay, so I just did a quick before and after. Filming outside, the camera got really hot and it kept shutting off, so I couldn't film the entire process of me pruning the rose bush and cleaning up this back area. But I did have to remove a ton of rock that was over in this area. There was also a, another rose bush similar to this one, and I, it was completely dead, so I had to dig it up. And right now, I'm just adding a few bags of some new soil and I'm going to be planting another rose bush. I believe it is very similar, if not the same exact type. And here is before what it looked like before I did anything. And then now I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. So this, I just love this over here. I planted a pink rose and that is very similar to what I have there already. And then I just added a little bit of ivy and I can't wait to see how big this other rose bush will get. 
I really love the color pink so I decided to stick with that color scheme and I'm going to be planting some pink geraniums in these pots over here along with some potato vine. We can leave and run away someday, someday. I was going to place everything back where it was, but I thought I would switch things up just a little bit. So I'm moving this bistro set over here to this side, and then I'm gonna place the bench over by the window. I love how this looks. I just think it looks so inviting, and I just really, really love how it's turning out so far. And I did find this bistro table and chairs set at Burlington. I found this round outdoor rug at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale and I love it. I wanted to go with the black and white and the pink colors out here for this area. I used the black from the door, the bench and the bistro set. And then I wanted to pull the pinks from the flowers that I was using. So along with that pink color, I found this welcome mat with some pink flowers that was just perfect with everything that I was doing over here. I found both of those front mats at Hobby Lobby as well. And a front porch is not complete without a beautiful wreath and I found this at Hobby Lobby as well. I love how this looks very natural and subtle and these flowers actually look like they are dried flowers. I just think it's simple and pretty. I love how it has those pinks in there, but it also has a few other colors of summer as well. But I don't want to run, run away from you, cause baby I am done. I absolutely love this black urn that I have. I keep it on my front porch throughout every season. I just gave it a really good clean with the hose. And unfortunately, I can't really put any live plants in here. It just makes a mess when I do the watering here on the front porch. So the best, closest to real live plants were these ferns that I also picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off and I think it looks really pretty over here even though they are not real ferns. I wish so much that I can keep real ferns alive here on my front porch. But here in the desert, it's next to impossible. I felt like these buffalo check pillows were perfect for this bench over here and they go exactly with the colors that I am doing and then I did have this front porch bucket list sign from years ago and I did purchase that sign at Hobby Lobby but here is the before and now here is the after and I am so happy with how everything looks I love sitting out here now and it just looks so inviting and fun and very colorful and even though it's not the neutrals that I normally go for I really love how much life has been brought to this front porch since I did this makeover You can't control who you fall for. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you say hi down in the comments. I love saying hi to all of you. I hope today's video gave you some decorating inspiration and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Because you can